Hey guys, it's Ian Fisher, and welcome back to episode 11 of my Barcelona career. And in today's episode, we've obviously got some games to get through. We're also going to get ourselves into the January transfer window. Obviously not quite there just yet, but we're going into a new year, uh, into 2018, and we'll send the next few days to try and do that. So looking forward to getting into the January transfer window. I think we might make one big signing, actually. Originally, I wasn't planning to make any signings, really, um, but we are going to take a look at our team again, and I think we might bring in another striker, um, or at least a replacement striker for someone like um, I'll say who could well actually leave during this window. So we see anyway as we get into the transfer window. But before we do though, if we could try and hit 50 likes on today's episode, I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button well down below and that'd be absolutely fantastic. Let's crack on with today's episode. As you can see, youth player wants out and that is Miranda there who wants to leave us. So we'll take a look at him. If he's good enough, we'll promote him. If not, then we'll just get rid of him straight away. Um, hopefully he should be good enough though to join us, hence why he's in our uh, youth academy. Let's have a look though. Uh, Miranda, potential 80 to 88, current overall 55, 18 years old. I think he might be worth a shot, to be honest. We'll promote him to the senior team, happy to give him obviously a chance. And we'll also take a look at a few more youngsters actually as well, because there seems to be some good ones in here. See, so, yeah, I think we'll also bring in this guy as well, Gonaver, maybe he'll join us, 51 overall, he seems good enough. Um, so does Silvera as well, he can join us. Anybody else that's of the right age? Um, oh, that 15 year old looks really good actually. Uh, Holder midfielder, 6 foot 2, really good potential on him. Um, hopefully, going to get him up as a little bit of a better overall as well. Got the centre attacking mid, he looks decent. Again, not a great overall though, so we'll wait a little bit. We'll take in Carlos Linz though, the Brazilian. And anybody else, this left mid could be a good option as well for us. We'll give it another month. And we'll definitely take in this holder midfielder. Great potential between 81 and 94. Spanish left-footed uh, holder midfielder. Ribeiro can stay in there. He looks like probably one of our best talents. He's still training up at the moment. Uh, we'll also take in, I think, this left mid as well. Another Spanish player. Starting to build up our squad a little bit more full of youngsters. The centre track in mid here looks really, really good. Andres uh, will come in and join us. 63 overall, 16 years old. And I think that'll pretty much conclude the players that we promote this month. So quite a number of players joining us there, which is good to see. I think it's important to try and promote younger players whenever we can. That obviously adds to our squad depth a little bit. Um, as you can see there, the number of different players we've brought in. Hopefully they'll get a bit of a game. I'm not really too sure, to be honest. There's a lot of competitions to play, but um, realistically, I'm not expecting to have a huge impact on the squad, but it's good, obviously, to have them in and around the team. I'll say this is probably, like I said before, going to be a player we're going to try, I think, move on in today's episode. And I think we might bring in someone like Dybala. I think is the guy we're going to aim for. Um, hopefully we can get rid of Alcesa as part of that deal. We'll wait and see exactly what happens. And uh, yeah, let's try and uh, pull off uh, a really big move here. And Dybala's obviously been heavily linked to real life for Barcelona. He's a centre attacking mid on here. He can also play as, I think, a striker and a centre forward, those sort of positions. And uh, and thank you to be really, really uh, helpful for us in that sort of uh, role. Coming in and playing as one of our lead attackers. Obviously not going to get in the team all the time. You just have to compete with Suarez and various other players in the squad as well. But certainly going to shortlist him try and negotiate some sort of offer and see whether he can actually play striker on this game. I assume he still can. I'm sure he'll be good there anyway, whether he is classed as a striker or not. Yeah, so he does also have striker down there as well. Stats-wise, looks really, really good. Happy to try and bring him in if we can. Let's wait and see whether Juventus are willing to let him go or not. Obviously, they'll want to try and keep him, I imagine, as much as possible. But they're saying it might have to be an offer between 118 and 100 and... No. 177. That is ridiculous. Okay, well, it's not expected to be that much. Well, we only really have a certain budget, but hopefully I'll say so will help us out a little bit in that sense. Okay, then here we go. Let's see and whether they will actually uh, accept I'll say so as an option for them here. Here we go. I'll say so is worth £17.5 million. Pounds. Obviously, will help us, hopefully, if they are interested. And let's have a look. Will they take him? We'll consider swapping to Barla, but we're looking to bring in a right winger. Not interested in Alsacer. Okay. Offer another player. Let's wait and see. Who can we offer? Not many players. Uh, Doug Belly has obviously just joined us. Um, okay, that's not good. Maybe just offer a transfer fee then, if they're not interested in Alsacer. So that's disappointing. I want to do uh, a player plus a transfer fee, but obviously uh, it doesn't seem like they're too interested in that. We'll go with £110 million pounds, uh, to test the waters. Interesting offer. Obviously a, a large offer already, considering he's value is 86, but... Um, I hope we're a little bit closer to how much he's actually worth, but they're saying about 160, wow. Okay, um, that is a lot of money. The most we can do is only like 120. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, we're going to go 112, but we're going to add a sell-on clause as well. And we're going to go with... Uh, I think the only way we're going to be able to get him in is with a 25% sell-on clause. No intention to selling him, so hopefully the sell-on clause won't be necessary, but... Yeah, let's see. Let's see what they say. Hopefully, hopefully that can help. No, they're not interested. Okay. We're going to really struggle, I think, here. Huh? That means we're going to have to, I think, end negotiations uh, for now. 
Uh, we can obviously, I think, renegotiate after a week or something like that, um, but we are going to have to raise some sort of money if we want to be able to sign a player like Dybala. And so to do that, we are going to transfer list and say, so see if that can help us out a little bit. Hopefully get some offers in for him that uh, are going to help us out. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll wait and see what comes of that. I really want to try and sign somebody though. Uh, I think it'd be really interesting to bring in someone like Dybala. Um, will be a good signing for us. Uh, he can play in numerous different positions as well as the two that I mentioned on the game. Uh, but let's crack on now and get onto the transfer window to get into the new year. We've got this game, it's last Palmer's coming up very, very shortly. Two games probably to play against them in today's episode, uh, which should be interesting so we can get into the next round of the Cup. Let's crack on with some player drills before we go any further though, see how we get on and hopefully have a bit of progress. A few stats going up, nothing too major though. Okay, good news. Just before this game against uh, Las Palmas that we have coming up, we've got a bid in for Alcesa here. Manchester City, £21.6 million. A decent offer, actually, to be fair to them. Um, we've had, I think, also an offer. Wait, did we accept an offer from Liverpool? Or is this a separate offer? Hmm, I'm so confused. Maybe they put in an offer before which we accept. I'm not really too sure what happened there, but uh, basically that one didn't lead to anything, I don't think. We are going to try and negotiate and see whether we can, in fact, we'll delegate, to be honest. Um, we're going to ask for... A little bit closer, I think, to sort of 35, which maybe is a little bit greedy. Uh, we'll say we'll start the offer at 35, but don't sell him for any less than maybe 25 we'll go for. Let's see what some sort of agreement can be made for that. Also, Sergio Roberto is another player we've had a bid in for. Uh, Milan, £24.8 million. We obviously offered him a new contract, I think, in the last episode, which increased his release clause to £53 million, uh, having had, I think, his release clause activated by Chelsea. Um, so... You know, obviously the release was activated at 36.1, uh, so we're definitely not going to be accepting this sort of offer. Okay, well, these scouting updates to take a look at. This is obviously very interesting. The fact that we have obviously promoted a lot of players recently, uh, we're looking to try now fill their places in the youth academy. That's obviously bear in mind. You know, they've got our players to be able to fill it that are good enough. And at the moment, just one Argentinian player there that looks good enough. And no Spanish players, that's not good. Maybe some Brazilians? Yes, two Brazilians that we'll take, I think, here. And uh, Castro will be the only one rejected. Okay, so on this game now, I guess that's Palmas. Obviously a cup game, but we're not going to change things too much, to be honest. Just a little change of formation and one or two players tweaked. Uh, so a 4-3-3 attack formation. Klinsman's going to start in goal. Uh, Sado, PK Wallace and Alba in defence. In front of that, Busquets and Iniesta. Coutinho at centre attack in mid. Messi, Suarez and Bele leading the line for us there. On Tizzi on the bench, Vidal, Gomez, Pellini, Rakitic, Suarez and De La Feu all get on there. And as you can see, some some players there missing out. I'll say, sir, obviously one of the players that we're looking to try and get rid of. I'm not so impressed with him in game. I think we have to have a better striker as a backup. If Suarez was to get injured, then I think we'd need somebody else. Obviously, Messi could play centrally. We could bring in a winger or something like that. But I would like an out and out striker. Um, and also someone that could play other positions like centre attack and mid as Dabala can. So we'll wait and see what happens of those deals and uh, hopefully try to get ourselves two points in this game. Okay, let's crack on this game against Las Palmas. Let's see how we get on. From what I know, I think they've got a pretty good team. So uh, it could be an interesting game this one. Um, I'm pretty sure I recognised a few of the names from when we last played them. So it uh, should be an interesting match. Still think obviously we've got more quality in the side, as you'd expect. But uh, yeah, we'll have to wait see what sort of performance these guys were able to produce. Oh, my days. Oh, no, just got themselves a free kick. Six minutes in, it's a long ball into the box. I don't know who's marking who here, but clearly no one's marking the guy that scored the goal because he's just able to put it in straight away on the volley. No sort of marking whatsoever. It doesn't No one gets tied to him at all. He's completely free, and he's just allowed to just put it in the back of the net. <laughs> It's just a long ball. No idea how no one's ended up marking him. He just pulls away from his man. And it's as simple as just a connection with the ball. Finds the back of the net. And to stay in, in fact, it's uh, Klinsman, is it, in goal that can't save it? Yeah, very, very, very strange defending there from us. Obviously, we know defending's not our strength, but you've got to at least stay with your man. Not the greatest challenge. Got away with it. Out for a corner. PK goes in there, dives in. I was expecting him to just keep running, but... As, uh, as often happens, the uh, player turns his body a little bit and makes it difficult for us. And it was nearly given us a penalty. Luckily, I think, just got enough connection with the ball. Halovic now to deliver and cleared away. Suarez into Messi. Messi coming inside on his left foot. We've seen it before and we've seen it again. Messi gets his level on his left foot. Really good little cuts inside there from the right-hand side. And no stopping it as ever. Fantastic finesse. It happens virtually every episode now. And Messi just gets given too much time. Suarez just plays it into him. And as soon as he comes on his left foot and shoots from the edge of the box, there's no stopping it. Really good finesse. And it's one on back level terms. Exactly what we had to do. And Messi's managed to do it 25 minutes in. Jordi Alba's won it back here. It's a little bit later on in the first half. A couple of minutes still to go in this game. Hopefully going to try and get a cross in for Suarez, but he doesn't seem to make the right runs. Iniesta will into Messi to shoot. Thought we got the goal. 
that we needed to get ourselves in front. It's wide though. Messi unable to convert that one. That's it for the first half. Still drawing the game one. Of course, we want to try and get ourselves in front. That's exactly what we're going to try and do in the second half. Team's going to stay the same. Hopefully, though, just trying to improve the way that we're playing a little bit. Okay, first change. We're going to take off any Esther who's getting quite tired. Paulino is going to come on alongside uh, Busquets. Hopefully, try and add a bit more energy into the midfield. Iniesta, I don't know why he's got so tired. I don't think he's done that much running, to be honest, but he'll come off as our first change. Iniesta looks to make a run forward through to Messi. Messi trying to shoot and score. He dances well, and the assist comes from Iniesta, who's just about to come off the pitch as well. Makes a great run, to be fair to him. I was complaining about his energy, but actually, uh, there makes a fantastic run forward. Slots it through to Messi, gets the finish perfectly right. So gets the second goal of the game. On for a hat trick now with 30 minutes left. And we've got ourselves up front for the first time during this game. Iniesta just plays a lovely little ball through Messi. He delays it until the final second to be able to slot it past the goalkeeper into the bottom left hand corner. And we're winning the game 2 1. Obviously, great to be in front. And, uh, that means that now uh, Iniesta can be taken off and we can make the change. Final two changes for Dal and Delafeo to come on. We'll take off Messi and Coutinho. Those guys are going to get a rest. Uh, Delafeo will go as centre attacking mid now and about 25 minutes left of this game. Let's wait and see how he gets on. Hopefully get ourselves another goal if we can just to put us a little bit further in front. Delafeo now got a chance to run at the defence if he can. Looking to try and weave in and out and get past him. He's going to turn and shoot and score. He's only been on the pitch a minute or two. And he's added a third to the scoreline for us. 3-1 now. Delafeo scores. Great run from midfield, and the defence just keep backing off and allowing him too much space. In the end, he finds a little gap. Okay, it's not great dribbling in particular. The weaving in and out is not great. I've seen better, but still enough to get past the defence. Look at that. Looks a little bit drunk at times to Delfeo there, but still enough to get around him. Still enough to get a little bit of space to shoot, and he scored as well. Good strike, actually, in the end. 3-1. Delafeu now on to Dembele. It's a really good pass. Dembele looking to try and get ahead if he can. Look for a cutback as well to Vidal. Can he score? Oh, my days. The shot was decent, but not decent enough because it was blocked by the defender onto the bar as well and out for a corner. And it's going to be Delafeu now to deliver. I thought he had a fourth goal there. Still might have one from this little flick on, and it's cleared away. Suarez now look for the ball through to Busquets from midfield. It's got to be a fourth goal, Busquets. Yes, it is. He took it home on the right-hand side. Worried for a second, Busquets, we've seen his finishing before, isn't great particularly uh, when he's going forward, but he just make a good few runs occasionally from midfield. Eight and eight again, 4-1 now, he's added to the scoreline, and the game is well and truly over. Hopefully that puts us in a much, much better position going into the second leg. I certainly think it does. Obviously got ourselves uh, four goals at home. They've got themselves an away goal, obviously got the away leg for us uh, in a week's time as well, but 4-1 at the moment in this game uh, certainly does help us going into the next match. Suarez now ball through to Delafeu. It's a really good bit of play. Delafeu still waiting for a cutback. And he'll find it with Dembele who scores 5-1. And we're tearing them apart now. It's really getting a little bit embarrassing for Las Palmas. Who can't cope at all with our passing. Really quick play. They're throwing too many players forward. And we're pl uh, throwing too many ourselves forward. Which is causing them uh, loads and loads of issues. Five minutes ago we made it 5-1. It's uh, Dembele this time. He manages to get the goal at the back post. And the little pass across to Delafeu. Probably should have been dealt with a little bit better by the defender. Should have maybe stuck with his man. But... He runs to the front post and allows the belly some time to slot at home. Those changes have definitely improved us, massively improved as well. Can't believe how much uh, those little tweaks that we made at uh, around the 60th minute, 65th minute, um, have really added to the energy in the team. Of course, uh, Las Palmas, loads of issues. And that is it. We've won the game 5-1. Really, really good victory. Obviously, puts in a fantastic position going to the second leg. We should already be through at this point, but we are technically just halfway uh, through the fixtures. So, uh, even though we are in such a good position, there's still a one more match to go. Also, Las Palmas scored with their only shot on goal, um, which kind of tells a little bit about how much control we had in that game, especially the second half as well after those changes. Uh, overall, very happy with the win. Okay, this is interesting. Just got an email in saying uh, Liverpool have agreed to pay the £34.9 million release clause for uh, Alsace. I mean, obviously Man City were negotiating. We were happy to accept, I think we put like 25 as the minimum. So I'm happy to go with this. Um, starting negotiations, it means it's completely up to the player whether he stays or moves to Liverpool. Um, will we renew his contract? Um, no, I'm happy to let it continue. If he wants to leave for that amount of money, I'll happily take it. That'll help us massively uh, with obviously trying to bring in Dybala. Chance offer here for Sergio Roberto. It's from Kiln, and that's £25 million. Again, not interested. I mean, this is just a little bit offensive as well, this offer. A loan offer for Sergio Roberto. Come on. Really? He's got a release for 50, £53 million, pounds and you want a loan offer. Okay, he's been sold to Liverpool. Uh, we've got ourselves £31.5 million of that deal. Obviously, uh, transfer talks broken down between him and Man City. Understandable. He's now left, which is great news. We can now bring somebody else in. Have we got the money yet, though? Uh, yes, he's officially left. Okay, that was all done very quickly. Good to see the back of him, because now we can bring in Dybala. Um, I just didn't think he had enough impact on us in-game, so I think you've got to get rid of those sort of players. Let's approach to try and buy uh, Dybala now and see if we've got more money to, uh, to try and force up the other line. 
I'm just wondering whether we actually do have enough money. Anyway, they're asking for 160 last time. We've got 143, so I don't want to just try and include one of our midfielders. Uh, someone like Denis Suarez, who I don't think is going to get that much game time, and, and has been okay, but not that impressive compared to some of the other players. I think Paulinho I really like. Rakitic is obviously great as well. Um, I've been impressed with Rafinha when he's played, but... I don't know if the Suarez has quite impressed me as much as I hoped, so maybe he's the player to put in there as part of the deal. Obviously, I'm reluctant to do that because I want to try and keep those sort of players, but at the same time, I don't think we have enough money to get into Dybala. I think we are going to put him in as part of the deal. They might not even want him, but we'll wait and find out anyway in a second. Um, we would consider swapping Dybala, but looking for a right winger still. Yeah, they're still going down that route, aren't they? Um, I think we'll just have to offer a transfer fee, to be honest. We'll see what it says, 140. Um, I think, obviously, selling clause could be an option for us if they don't accept that. Let's see, 155, they want a sell-on clause as well, which is good to see that they are actually considering that now. Uh, we still can't pay 155, though. We'll go 142, and we'll go with the larger sell-on clause as well, just because, again, I have real sort of no intentions of selling them on. So we'll go with sell-on clause at 25%, a large chunk, but we'll see what they say to that. Hopefully we're a little bit closer, and let's see. Finally, I've accepted it. Okay, maybe we went a little bit overboard on the sell-on clause, but like I say, if you don't sell him, then they get no money back, so... Okay, happy with that. Can we now afford his wages? Probably not. Okay, first of all, we've got to put it as a crucial first team player, obviously. I think he's going to be really important to us, and that's exactly what he's after as well. Can we now discuss and get agree everything else? His current wage is 185 grand. Maybe that helps us a little bit if he's willing to stay at that wage or go a little bit lower, maybe. How many years do I want him to be here? Four, I think is fair. Five was tempting, but we'll go four. Uh, and that's he, what he's agreed to as well. He wants a release clause. Okay. Uh, okay, that's a big release clause as well. Wow. I was looking at maybe like 350 million. Okay, the agent isn't looking at that sort of amount. Just to negotiate with me a little bit, you can't just keep saying the same amount. Okay, we'll reduce our demands significantly, but still ask for 275. I'd be happy to take that for him, but uh, obviously we've got to take into account there's a sell on clause as well in, in that, and uh, hopefully. No, okay, okay, still rejected. Still, still the same amount that they're wanting for him. So yeah, I think we'd probably lose about 60 million-ish um, from the sell-on clause if he was to be bought out in, uh, as part of the release clause. So uh, we'd probably end up getting about 190 for him of that money. So with that, you could obviously buy a great player. So we are going to reluctantly accept that uh, and go ahead with it just to kind of keep the deal moving a little bit. We might not even be able to agree at um, some sort of wage anyway, to be honest, but we'll have to wait and see anyway. Um, so we're going to go wage. I think we're just going to play it fairly safe and we're just going to go with what he's currently on. If he walks out because of it, then so be it, but we'll have to wait and see. We're on a very, very tight budget. We can't afford to just throw money um, at him just willy-nilly. We'll have to wait and see exactly what he's after. Uh, he actually wants a reduced wage um, of, of 180 grand, but he's wanting a loss of sign-on bonuses, which obviously we can't afford. We're 100 grand uh, a week wage off that. Right, so we can currently offer him 77 grand with those bonuses. Yeah, this isn't going to happen, is it? This is the closest we're going to be able to get, I think. We might be able to tweak things slightly, but we are really, really struggling. We'll have no money left if he agrees this. But 185 grand a week, uh, signing a bonus is basically 1.5 million pounds, and then 2.5 million pounds if he scores 15 goals. So let's submit the offer, see what he says. I think they're probably going to decline it, but let's wait and see. Um, yes, they are declining it. They're still asking for a lot more money as well. That's uh, basically, I think, in fact, the same offer. So not very helpful at the moment, this agent. Okay, I think the only way this is going to work is if we reduce the amount of goals that he gets the bonus at. So, if he scores five goals, then he gets £1.6 million, which, of course, is, again, not something we want to have to do. But I think in order to make it work, this might be the best way we can do it. In fact, we might just see whether they accept ten goals instead. Hopefully get somewhere, but still, still looking for more and more money. But we're getting somewhere. You can see the wage budget now only needs thirty-five grand as opposed to over 100 Okay, let's go with that. We've gone down to five goals. Um, the, obviously, the bonus has changed slightly, but... We'll see what that hap what, what happens with that deal. Again, hopefully they agree to it, but still four grand off this time around. They want the wage increasing significantly. Okay, this could be one of the greatest negotiations you've ever seen if this works, um, because we've we've changed the signing bonus really, really slightly. That's increased the wages to 190 grand. We've kept the bonuses, the goal bonus, exactly the same, but this is our basically our final offer now. I think they'll walk out if we if they don't agree to this it, this time, but. Again, we're left with no money. Let's see what they say. Um, it's not quite what my client was hoping for, but he's joined. We managed to finalise the deal, 190 grand. Um, I don't think you'll see any better negotiations than that, to be honest. That was really, really close. Such a tight budget, and now we have no money left. So hopefully we can win. Uh, we can get through to the next round and get ourselves uh, a little bit of tournament cash, but even still, it's not going to be that much. Zero on the budget. Never, never happened before, I don't think at all for me, but glad to have brought in Dybala, that's obviously going to help us massively, um, even though we are going to be basically bankrupt now, uh, but very happy to have signed him, hopefully he's going to um, pay his price tag, he better pay his price tag as well, that's a lot of money we've spent on him. And that might mean that we have to sell on maybe Suarez now, I'll have to wait and see uh, what sort of offers come in for him.
million. Pounds. That is ridiculous. But we've paid it and it's done. We've had to really stretch the budget, but uh, like I say, we might have to sacrifice a player uh, in order for that deal to be able to be sustainable long term. We'll have to wait and see uh, anyway, but I think, like I say, it could well be someone like Suarez uh, that has to be sacrificed. The centre of Dennis Suarez, by the way, uh, not Luis Suarez, uh, but... Uh, yeah, I think we'll just wait and see what sort of offers come in for him. I think we've had offers already, uh, but we've rejected the one from Chelsea. It's also got a release slot as well of £40 million, which I'd probably take, to be honest. I think we'll add to the transfer list, just wait and see what sort of offers we get in, try and track some sort of interest, and uh, yeah, wait and see what sort of bids come flying in. Okay, play drills before this game against Las Palmas. I think we should have just about enough time. Also, that negotiation took a little while to bring in Dabala, as you'd probably expect. It's a huge deal. Um, this week, we have Romero going up to 67 overall. We've also got another uh, young player going up there to 64 overall as well, so a little bit of progress with those youngsters. Okay, so I don't think we quite have enough time to actually play this game that we have coming up against Las Palmas. We will, however, sim the match. We're obviously 5-1 up from the previous leg, so we should be able to get through fairly comfortably. Uh, we are going to change around the team. To stay in Roberto, Mascherano, and Titi, Alba, Rakitic, Suarez, Gomez, Messi, Suarez, and Coutinho all start. So, it's a pretty strong team. There's obviously been some changes. There's some obvious changes there, um, but we'll have to wait and see. It's the away fixture. Usually those don't go so well when you sim them, but like I say, 5-1 up from the previous leg, we should be in a good position, but let's wait and see what happens. Uh, ex exactly. I mean, obviously expecting to win this game still, um, but we've gone down 1-0 to a former player. I think uh, it might have been Barca B, although it might have been in the Barca first team, not too sure, but he's scored 20 minutes in. Half-time, still losing the game 1-0, um, as you expect, really, from simming away. Match often happens for some reason. Uh, with about 25 minutes left, still losing this game. De Palos, come on. Suarez equalises, that's good news. And uh, we've managed to get ourselves a goal in this match, which is obviously the away goal, and the game will finish one all. Good enough to get to this next round, that's the main thing. Didn't think, I don't think we had any injuries there anyway. Uh, I'll have to take a look in the second, but no, it doesn't seem like we had any injuries, which is good. No suspensions as well, which is even better. And uh, yeah, I think we've come away with that one. Uh, I mean, a pretty good nick, I think. Okay, let's see by the league table. Currently second in the league. Obviously, a game behind Real Madrid. A chance, though, to go level on points with them. I think for the first time, we've managed to do that this season, to be honest. Real Madrid have been well in front before. Now we've got a chance to go level with them. Hopefully, we can do that next episode with this game against Real Sociedad. Um, currently got a manager rating of 90 as well. Seems to go pretty well our manager rating a lot of the time on this career mode. Don't know what it is that I'm doing but something's working <laughs> despite having no money in the budget. Uh, the board seems to be pretty happy. Maybe it's the youth development ones that we seem to be pretty well on. Uh, also the brand exposure as well. That probably explains it. The shirt sales from Dabala are probably enough to uh, make us do the brand exposure one and obviously doing pretty well I think in the other one. And we're also still in profit as well somehow after £142 million pounds are spent on Dabala. Uh, so pretty happy overall how we've got things set up at the moment. I don't think we're going to be doing any more deals. Certainly you know, incomings anyway, maybe some outgoings uh, for the rest of the transfer window. Uh, but that will be everything. We'll quickly switch sim up to the game, I guess, for our saucy dads. Don't really know where they are in the league, I suspect, um, obviously, around mid-table, usually. Uh, but that is everything for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys like the sign that we made. £142 million for the Dybala, obviously a huge deal. A lot of you guys were mentioning it in the comments section uh, of the previous episodes, and I thought we'd have to bring in somebody big today, and uh, hopefully he's going to be paying off that, m that money uh, over the next few episodes, and over the next few seasons that he's here. Thank you all so much for watching. If we could try and hit 50 likes on today's episode, I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead, hit that subscribe as well down below, and that'd be absolutely fantastic. Really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.